Well, two weeks ago, we looked through a couple of sets of wheels and examined some of the repairs that needed to be done. And we got to listen to what a real loose tire sounds like. Well, this week I got those repairs done, reset the tires, so now we can compare and see what a real tight tire should sound like. Well, last week we kind of had a pretty cold start to the week. So this is a good opportunity to do some steam bending, which I need to do. I need to bend some check wagon bows and also some covered wagon bows. Now, I generally don't have heat on this second half of the shop. The steam bender is actually that source of heat. So when I started out, it was only about 38 degrees. Now the main difference between a check wagon bow and a covered wagon bow primarily is in the height. A covered wagon, as the pioneers were headed out west, had a little extra height, usually about six feet, so that they could stand inside the box as it was traveling. Well, a chuck wagon bow primarily just needs a cover to cover the kitchen box in the back, called the chuck box, and oftentimes the bed rolls are the cowboys, so these bows don't need to stand near as tall. So the first ones I'm going to bend are going to be chuck wagon bows, you'll see they're a little shorter, then I've got some 38s and some 42 covered wagon bows I also need to bend. The most common size bows that I bend are 5 eighths of an inch thick and 2 inches wide. In this case, I'm going to bend 6 at a time. So this first set is the chuck wagon bows. Total overall length is 13 foot. The second set is going to be for covered wagon bows. They're still the same 5 8 by 2, but these are 14 foot in length for the extra height.
So the two most common box width sizes are 38s and 42s. The first ones I bent were 38s. I'm also going to bend some 42 inch covered wagon bows. On the set of buggy wheels, the two rear wheels both had fellow halves that had some damage to them. One had a warped section to it and the other had a broken section right at a spoke. Well the warped section took up about two thirds of this one fellow half and the broken fellow at the spoke was in the one third of the other fellow half. So I actually could take the two, I cut out the two thirds that was bad and replace the one-third with the remaining one-third of the first half, if all that makes sense. So I was able to keep the original two fellow halves and combine them into one for one wheel and just had to replace one fellow half on the second wheel. Well, one front wheel had a spoke that was needing repair, so I did replace that one also. Well, these pony dray wheels primarily just need to be resized and tightened back up again. I do put wedges in the spoke tenons to kind of snug those up. I've got one wheel that needs a new fellow half. So we're going to do those repairs and then go ahead and set all the tires at one time. Well, we had the south winds blow and it really turned our temperatures around so oftentimes I don't get the opportunity through the winter time to open up the doors and blow out the dust. But we had a pretty warm day so I'm going to take the leaf blower that Makita has sent to me and blow this shop out.
So now I'll replay what these wheels sounded like before we did the repairs on them and what they sounded like afterwards. Well, I did get the hubs finished for this chuck wagon that I didn't get finished last week. So hopefully, maybe next week we'll get started on building those wheels. Once again, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching. <laughs>